see. Kale says, sir, if you're using the overlap of chikou span with candlestick patterns to trade, this signal will work the best with daily time frame, right? Yes, uh, I recommend you to use daily chart for any Ichimoku strategies. Um, I got this question many times, actually, so let me reply to this. But uh, Ichimoku was originally created to analyze a daily chart and also weekly chart. So, and based on my experience and backtesting, Ichimoku works the best on the daily chart uh, or weekly chart. So, um, if you are still not familiar with Ichimoku, then you better use daily chart to, for your analysis. So, time cycles and price theory also works on the daily chart or weekly chart, and also uh, forecast lines will also work on daily or weekly chart, or monthly chart even. Um, so, yeah, in terms of the question about the overlap of Chikou Span with candlestick patterns, uh, you better use the daily chart. And once you get used to it, you can go down to the lower time frames to use Ichimoku. But even so, I don't recommend you to use Ichimoku Kinko Hyo in 15 minute chart or the lower time frames. This is actually uh, based on my experience also, but if you use it on two low time frames below 15 minute chart, uh, you know, because lower time frames are a bit spiky, so um, sometimes it doesn't respect the time cycles, it doesn't respect the Kihonsu numbers, and it doesn't really respect the Tenkan Sen or Kijun Sen uh, crossovers or Kumo breakouts. Um, last year, I was actually using a part of Ichimoku strategies on lower time frames, but this year, not anymore, because uh, I've seen many fake outs, fake signals, so I decided not to use Ichimoku anymore at all on these lower time frames. But instead, I stick to candlesticks, patterns, and also lines, price actions, and uh, some other strategies on lower time frames. So, uh, like, whenever you count time cycles, a weekly, weekly chart works very good too, and also daily chart is also very good to capture time cycles. Um, yeah, so that is my advice here. So, but, uh, yeah, so this is my experience. Of course, you may be apply, you may be able to apply Ichimoku in lower time frames, and if it works, then you can keep using it. But uh, for myself, I prefer to use it in uh, higher time frames. Thank you for watching the video until the end. But before ending, let me briefly share with you one important concept of mine as a pro trader. That is, I am not focusing on one single trade result, but my main focus is a result over time. Because most of the traders only focus on one single trade result or a couple of trades results whether it's a win or loss, and they tend to get emotional from trade to trade. And they don't really focus on the result in a long run. So remember to focus on your trades results over time, at least for a month, and don't get emotional by a result of one single trade. If you liked today's video, please press the good button and make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notified as I keep uploading a new video or as I do the next live. So I wish you a great trade success on your way and I hope to see you on the next live or video. Alright, so until then, stay gold and matane!